So we will talk about the Lyon integral today. This is our lecture six in the series of electromagnetic theory. Okay. We have discussed about some vector calculus parts, and then we have looked at some differential calculus part like gradient, divergence, and the curl. Now we will move towards the integral calculus part. Okay, such as the Lyon integral, surface integrals, and the volume integrals. So when we are talking about the electrodynamics, we often encounter several kinds of integrals like these: Lyon integrals, surface integrals, and the volume integrals. Like later, you will see when we will look at the electrostatic parts, then we have to find the Lyon integral of electric field. Yes. So when we are finding the potential, we have to find this Lyon integral. So that's why. we are first looking at these fundamental concepts like differential calculus part and the integral calculus part so in the later we can lay out our fundamental like uh, we can lay out the theory in much more better way okay so when we are talking about the line integral the best example in my mind is the work done upon a solid particle by a force so let's say you have some solid particle and the force on this solid particle is in this direction okay and let's say this direction is at 60 degree angle okay and the magnitude of this force is given by let's say 10 newton and uh, when you will apply this force at this solid then let's say so it will move in this direction and let's say the displacement is given by uh let's say 10 meter okay now if you want if you want to find the work done by this force upon this solid you can't just simply the multiply 10 newton multiply with the 10 meter okay you have to find you have to find the component of force into the displacement direction yes displacement direction then only you can multiply with the distance or the displacement to find the work so the work done is given by the dot product of this force with the displacement vector let's say this is given by dl vector and when you will solve the dot product as we have discussed in the last lecture the dot product will be simplified to magnitude of this force magnitude of this displacement and the angle between these two vectors and we will find that 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by cos 60 okay so it will be 100 multiplied by 1 by 2 so it will be 50 joule so the work done upon this solid Will be the 50 joule instead of 10 multiplied by 10 is equal to 100 joule. So this is the similar co concept of the line integral also, but this is just the integral. Okay, so let's look at this line integral. So let's say you are given some vector. I am writing a vector in the general form. Let's say the x component. is in the form of x by and the y component is given by q x by y cap okay so this is the vector general vector now if you will draw a vector field now just remember what is vector field and what is vector if you put the point x and y in this vector at each point in the x y plane so like uh, if you draw the every vector in the x y plane just uh, by putting the x and y in this uh, v vector you will find the vectors at each point in the x y plane yes and let's say this is some point and the v vector is given like this okay similarly at this point it can be given in this direction so randomly i am just Uh, drawing so at each point you will be finding a vector yes 
so this can be in this direction this can be in this direction so like you can keep on drawing at each point you will be having a vector and the vector will be given by this vector equation now this is our vector field vector field field of vectors now this vector can represent any vector like it can be gravitational force it can be velocity of a particle or it can be any vector okay so let's say this is the force and let's say there is a particle which is moving from point a let's say from point a to point b okay this is point a this is point b and the particle is moving at this track given by c okay now now we want to find how much work will be done by this vector field this vector field upon this particle when it is moving from point a to point b in this vector field so we want to calculate the effect of this kind of force you can say this vector field as a force so what is the work done by this force on this uh, particle when it is moving from point a to point b yes so let's say so what we will do at each point we will take the vector so at point a at point a let's say the vector is in this direction okay so at each point there would be vector yes so let's say it is in this direction and let's say the displacement displacement vector is given by this dl vector okay so it is moving a infinitesimal small distance dl from point a to let's say this is the next point okay and so this is our direction of b vector and this is our direction of dl okay now the work done by this vector b when the particle will move infinitesimal distance dl will be given by vector b and the dot product with this dl vector yes because displacement would be in the direction of this path and i am taking a infinitesimal distance only okay now similarly similarly at uh, this point let's say the vector is in this direction yes and again if you will move a infinitesimal distance into the direction of this path then you will find a uh, work done okay so we want to find the total work we want to find the total work from point a to point b which would be done by this vector field so this is let's say our dw and the total work would be the integral of this b dot dl yes and uh, we want to find this total integral along the path which is given by contour c okay so this is the intuition of line integral this is what we call line integral integral along this line and the line is some path given by from point a to point b okay so this is line integral so when we are integrating all the works all the works by individual vectors at this point there would be some work at this point let's say this vector is in this direction there would be some work done by this vector so like at each point there would be work done by uh, this vector field upon this particle and when we when you integrate all these infinite works you will be finding the line integral and this will calculate the total work done upon this particle okay so this is the concept of the line integral now in the next video i will tell you what is the condition when this line integral does not depend on the path which you are taking but only depends on the end points like a and b okay so let's say what i mean by uh, this dependency let's say instead of giving uh, along this c path let's say i am going from point a to point b 
in along this path okay given by this let's say this is our path c2 okay so would this work will so would this work be the same when you go along this c2 path would it be the same so i will tell you there is a condition when this work done or the line integral will not depends on the path so those vectors are called the conservative vectors okay so there is a condition i will discuss that condition but in general the line integral depends on the path okay in general but if there is some condition satisfied or i would say if the vector is conservative vector then this line integral does not depend on the path okay so we'll drive or uh, i will give you the expression of that condition later 